this out there, which would be a mega fight. What about fighting Floyd Mayweather one day? You and he in a ring together. In a boxing? In a boxing match? I'm open to discussion. Come at me. But I hold the key. I hold the key. It is me who holds the key to the fight game. I am open-minded. I'm open to discussion. I love competition. I love fighting. It would be nice to, f to, to, to make that fight if the fans were interested and wanted to see it. Obviously, they would. It would be a billion dollar yeah. fight, surely. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm all about them numbers, Gareth. So I would certainly do that, no problem. When you're chasing your dream and when you're, when you're working hard, chasing something you love and, and, um, and completely dedicated, it just, ha it just happens. You, don't, you, don't, you can't really no notice it, you know, even still to this day. I'm in, a, in an amazing position in, in my life. But I'm still, I'm still working like I'm not. I'm still working like I'm not in this position. Absolutely. I'm still working like none of this is even, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, just, right. it's just something I love to do and I just keep pushing, I keep working hard. I can't pinpoint an exact moment for you, but yep. if, if anything, I always felt like it was happening way back then. And, and now it is happening, but now I almost feel like it's not happening. You know what I mean? And I want to I wanna push to, to something else. Absolutely. I'm always striving to push forward. Yeah, I don't just knock them out. I picked around, John. Yeah, I said this. I'm sure you're probably all thinking in your head. This guy is talking absolute dribble. He's not going to do what he says he's going to do. You are probably all sitting there thinking that. But now here we are again. And I don't what I said I was going to do. I feed off this. I feed off this. I love this stuff. This is what gives me energy. Saying I'm going to do something. Saying, putting it out there for the world to see and then going out and doing it. There's no better feeling in the world than that. And it's as easy as that. Say what you're gonna do, and go and do it. I've been listening to them laugh my whole career. They've been laughing. What, an Irish man win a, win a Cage Warriors world title? Hell no. You serious, an Irish man? An Irish man win a fight in the UFC? Hell no, laugh, laughs all around. An Irish, okay, you gotta win. Now he wants to win a world title? Hell no, he's all talk, he's all hype, he's a joke. Laughter all around at the Joker. Then the Joker goes and wins the world title. Now he wants to win a second world title. More laughter. Listen, I've been, I don't know, the sound of laughter and the sound of doubt motivates me. So I'm, I'm enjoying that. I seek that. I don't feel no doubt or, or, or I don't feel no, I don't feel that going to fight in any of these other UFC bombs right now. They need to rise up. Right now, they're, they're down there. I've got this situation where people are truly doubting me, like they doubted me at the very, very beginning. And that's motivating for me. That's what's going to drive me to the gym when I need to go to the gym and to put in that work to get that win. So that's where we're at right now. I don't fear him. 
If this was a true fight, it wouldn't even take one round. Yeah, what? fuck Floyd, trust me. This whole boxing world don't know what they're gonna see when I roll in here. I'm unpredictable. Nobody knows what they're gonna, what they're in for. Everybody's writing me off. Everyone has this little, you know, but they're gonna be in shock.